Hey everybody, it's Alex, the founder and CEO at Motoroso.com, and in this video, we're gonna take a close-up look as well as a detailed and concise installation guide for the power steps from AMP Research that fit the 2019 and up Ram 1500 and TRX. And we're gonna be installing this on our friend Kevin's beautiful new Ram TRX. Most well-appointed trucks these days are gonna come with some stock running boards, but for those that have trouble getting in and out of the truck, or especially if you've lifted or put bigger wheels and tires, sometimes getting in and out of the truck can be a bit too much work. So for those that want a cleaner look and a much lower drop step without sacrificing ground clearance, the Amp Research Power Step might be the perfect solution. Now, if you're not familiar, the way that this works is that it'll sense when the door of the truck opens and it'll drop the step down, making it easy to get in and out. And then when you close the door, it'll tuck up nicely and out of the way. Now, the Amp Research Power Step come in three different configurations. Their Standard Power Step, the Power Step XL, and the Power Step Extreme. The Standard Power Step is a pretty simple product. It drops down 13 inches below the door sill and it features one motor. But the Power Step XL is great for lifted applications or those looking for the maximum amount of drop step because it drops an additional three inches, giving you a total of 16 inches drop from the door sill. And the Power Step Extreme, just like the Power Step Standard, drops 13 inches from the door sill, but it features two motors per side for additional strength and longevity, and the joints, pivots, and motors are all sealed a little bit extra to protect against harsh elements like water, mud, dirt, and sand. Now what we've chosen here for our friend Kevin's 2021 Ram TRX is the Power Step Extreme that I've just described because that's the fitting step for a TRX. And these steps feature those four motors that I mentioned are sealed additionally against the elements and those connect to these four die cast aluminum articulating arms that feature stainless steel pins and pivots as well as having the joints PTFE line to help them operate smoothly and resist wear in those harsh conditions. The step itself is also made from light but very strong die cast aluminum and all of the components are then powder coated in a nice satin black to give a nice clean appearance that fits any vehicle. Now what makes the Power Step Extreme a little bit different again is that the steps themselves are coated in an even more durable and even more grippy powder coat finish that's gonna help keep grip in those wet, icy, and overall slippery conditions, as well as stand up to additional punishment on work sites and nasty conditions. All three versions of the steps have a 600 pound weight capacity, and they also feature integrated LED lighting to help illuminate the steps when they're deployed. Of course, it also features all the necessary wiring harnesses, control modules, and that all wires into the OBD2 port that tells the system when the door has been opened and to deploy and close the steps when necessary. Now, if you'd like to purchase these steps, we'll put all three versions of this in the description of the video, and I'll put the link to the extreme version for the Ram trucks right up here. Now, this will fit the 2019 and up Ram 1500, both crew cab and double cab. It's the same product, and it'll also fit the TRX, which is what we're going to be installing these on. Those links will take you over to Motorosa.com where you can reach us on live chat and you can reach us toll free at 833-MOTOROSO anytime we can help. Now let's show you how easy it is to install these steps. Before starting your installation, you'll need to remove any existing steps. Now our Ram TRX came with the OEM steps, but those can be removed easily with a 13 millimeter socket. Now because the Ram uses mounting studs and they are exposed while the vehicle is being painted, they often have paint on the threads. To ensure ease of installation and limit the risk of damage to the hardware, use a die to clean the threads. The thread is an M8 by 1.25. The Ram 1500 requires this wiring harness to be relocated. Use a panel lever to pry the box off the bracket and use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the current mounting bracket. You can then mount the new bracket immediately reusing two of the OEM bolts, but don't replace the wiring harness just yet. Now open up your motor linkages. Your motor linkages will come in boxes that are labeled for the driver and passenger sides. Start with the driver side linkages. You can install one of the motors before mounting the linkage onto the vehicle. To do this, place the dust cover over the gears and orient the motor as shown here with the motor pointing directly away from the motor linkage. Before installing the motor, make sure the arm on the linkage is fully extended and then line up the gear in the motor with the gear in the linkage, then line up the holes on the mount and use the supplied four millimeter socket head bolts and washers to secure the motor. You can now place the motor linkage over the studs and use the supplied 13 millimeter nuts to fasten the mounting bracket to the truck. With this linkage arm and motor in place, you can now replace the wiring harness on the relocation bracket. If you attempt to mount the motors for the rear linkages before mounting them to the truck, it will not work. We recommend mounting the linkages first, then making sure the arms are fully extended, place the dust cover, and install the motor. 
The passenger side is essentially the same but without the harness relocation bracket, so go ahead and mount the linkages and motors on the passenger side. On your step, locate the silver sliding mounting plate and line it up with the holes on the motor linkage arms. You can gently rest the step inside the channel and looking from underneath, you can finish lining up the mounting bolts with the holes and loosely threading one or two turns to hold the steps in place. Before tightening these bolts, measure the distance between the edge of the motor linkage to the edge of the step end cap. On the Ram 1500, you want this distance to be 7.5 inches. With the step in place, you can press it down and firmly tighten your mounting bolts to 10 pound via the torque and repeat this process on the passenger side. Before doing anything with your wiring harness, make sure to remove the fuse and put it somewhere safe. Connect the wiring harness to the control unit, making sure the rubber gaskets are on the connectors and click in place. The control box will be mounted behind the battery on the driver's side and zip tied to this spot on the firewall. It may help to bend the zip ties before passing it behind this harness to make it easier to grab. Now locate the positive and negative power wires on the harness and route the red positive wire around the battery and under any other braces or harnesses, then connect it to the positive battery terminal. Then connect the black wire to the negative battery terminal. To route the wiring harness down to the steps, it's easiest to pass a line feed or a hanger up behind the wheel well to the engine bay, making sure to avoid anything sharp, hot, or rotating. We'll start with the driver's side. Find the shorter run of the wiring harness and attach it to the line feed and then carefully pull it through from the underside of the vehicle. Run the wiring harness along the edge of the frame rail and behind the chassis mounts and pass it over the front motor linkage then plug the shortest connector into the front motor. Continue running the wiring along the frame rail towards the rear motor zip tying all along the way and plug the harness into the rear motor. To run the wire harness down to the passenger side, you'll need to remove a few pop clips from the firewall cowl and zip tie the harness using these holes. Run the harness over to the passenger side behind the coolant overflow tank, then pass a line feed up from the bottom of the vehicle behind the wheel well and pull the harness down to the passenger side frame rail. Again, we recommend wiring behind the body mounts. Connect the first part of the harness to the first motor and continue running your harness along the frame rail, zip tying along the way and connect to the rear motor. Connecting the LED lights is as simple as connecting the red and black wires from the harness to the LED light. AMP research suggests drilling a hole through the pinch weld and then passing the wire for the LED lights through this hole. They also supply the rubber grommets for this step. Now we decided this wasn't worth the time or the effort and instead just run the wire under the pinch weld. Now if you want to complete this step, refer to their instructions and have a few extra drill bits because you're going to go through them. Using the wire strippers, expose a half inch of wire on each side and use the supplied butt connectors and crimp the wires together. The butt connectors supplied by AMP Research are also shrink tubing, so after they're connected you can use a flame to seal the connections. Then simply clean the preferred mounting location with alcohol, peel the backing off the double sided tape, and press it into place. If you have any loose wiring, use zip ties to secure it. Then repeat this process on the other side. Next we're going to pass the purple wires through the firewall grommet into the driver's side footwell. On the other side we'll be connecting it to this OBD2 harness. From the driver's side footwell locate this grommet seen here. Then use a hanger or a line feed to poke through this grommet. Now connect your purple wires to the line feed and pull them into the footwell. Prepare your OBD2 harness by attaching the PosiConnect butt connectors to each wire. Now in the driver's side footwell, identify the purple wire that has the black stripe and connect it to the butt connector making sure it's purple to purple and purple black to purple black. Yes we agree they should have used different wires. Using a panel lever, pop out the cover to the left of the steering wheel. Inside this compartment, there is a large green dock of connectors. Slide this up and off its mounting point and push it down as far as possible to make it more accessible. On the OBT2 connector harness, there is a small connector that can be plugged into any one of the open ports on this connector dock. Once you have this connected, you can put the dock back in its place and replace the cover on the side of the steering wheel. Now you can simply plug this connector into the OBD2 port and zip tie any extra wiring out of the way. With everything installed and connected, you can replace your fuse in the fuse holder and the steps should immediately retract and calibrate. Now go around the vehicle and test each door to make sure the steps and lights are functioning properly and you've finished installing your AMP Research Power Steps. Alright, we hope you found that video helpful. Like we said, we'll put links to all versions of this product in the description right here. And then for this extreme version for the Ram 1500 and TRX, we'll put a link to the extremes right here. Those will take you over to Motorosa.com where you can reach us on live chat and you can always call us toll free at 1-833-MOTOROSO. That's 833-668-6767.
Thanks for watching.